David, right, it's dollar weakness is the main theme. Now, of course, this is down to perhaps the uh, betting on the Fed, but is there more to it than this? Is it because it was overbought? We're having a gut check. What's the deal? I think uh, near term, yeah, a bit of a gut check. I mean, it had rallied basically eight weeks in a row for it. So some profit taking is understandable. And obviously, they had good reasons yesterday to take profit taking, basically, given Governor Ueda's comments. And, you know, the market's very happy. If you open a door for them, they'll quickly run through the door. So I think you see some profit taking. But to really, if the dollar is going to extend its decline, it really needs basically three or combination of three things to happen. You obviously need US yields to push lower. Um, and that could happen. I'd be, I'd, you know, whether it does or does not, it's going to be key on US CPI. But not only just US CPI, I'd be looking at the 10 year and 30 year auctions and see what is that demand for bonds at these levels. If the auctions come in weak, that will obviously add pressure to yields, which will help dollar yen. Um, also, you're looking for risk sentiment. With that, you look forward to China data, data dump on Friday when there's retail sales, industrial production, and fixed assets X rule. If those come in weaker, then again, that negative sentiment towards China will start permeating again, which will be dollar supportive. And also the other thing is there's that ECB meeting and how the ECB reacts this week. That's really important because whether you look at the dollar index or the Bloomberg dollar index, the euro is by far the biggest weighting in that component. So when we say how the dollar performs, really heavily it's how it performs against the euro. Now the market's very 50-50 on whether ECB hikes or not. Obviously if it doesn't hike, then you expect the euro to come in pr under pressure, positive for dollar. If it does hike, you would expect a need reaction high in the euro. The question then becomes, do the investors go, you've hiked, but actually you're going to actually spur the eurozone economy into recession even quicker. So if the market starts thinking that, it could end up being negative for euro, positive for dollar. So how the market reacts to all those events this week will determine. But for the dollar really to extend its decline, it really needs, said, more risk, uh, more risk on sentiment um, and a weak CPI. And said, see how it, the market reacts to the ECB. D David Moore, in the end, you, you wrote about this note out of Stand Chart yesterday where I, I think the gist was that you know, they think the strength in the yen is temporary and this is going to continue to test 150 because the BOJ will implicitly cap rates at 0.7%. How much of a consensus do you think that call is from Stand Chart? I think where about the 0.7%, there's definitely people think it will stay that level or maybe go a bit higher. I think the idea of a dollar yen rallying um, in coming weeks, that is still quite consensus at the moment. Because it said, look, even the BOJ has hinted at uh, removing the negative interest rate policy. But even then, it's not until um, next year, basically, at the earliest. So you've got four months till then. So really, the, where dollar yen goes relies heavily more on US yields and where they go. And the moment, no one's expecting them to go a lot lower. Now, obviously, if CPI disappoints, the market will more likely will be quite happy to price in more rate cuts next year. But if CPI stays solid, then the market, the Fed has been consistently going, look, we are staying higher for longer. And the market is begrudgingly believing them. So I think even if CPI disappoints, that the Fed rhetoric is unlikely to change next week. And the key thing next week is what is that dot plot going to be? After all the data, that we, we, no one's expecting the Fed to hike next week, but what does it signal this dot plot? Does it leave a rate hike on the table for this year? More than likely it will. And how many rate cuts does it predict next year? Does that match market expectations? If the Fed is seen as more aggressive or more hawkish than the market, then that will be dollar supportive. So overall, when you can buying everything, a lot of people are saying risks are skewed still towards dollar yen moving towards that 150 level more than, say, down to the 143 level in the near term.